I'm extremely grateful as counsel for the Malaya Lola for the decision of the UN Sidao recognizing that the Philippines is in breach of its obligation to provide adequate remedy to uh, Philippine comfort women during World War II. Um, the struggle of the comfort women has been ongoing since uh, the end of World War II. Um, and this is a vindication given that the uh, case of uh, Vinuya versus Executive Secretary was dismissed by the Supreme Court. And unfortunately, the case is uh, more remembered for notorious instance of plagiarism rather than uh, the need to provide um, reparation and recognition that the Filipino comfort women were victims of uh, war crimes. We're hoping that the Philippine government will implement it, the uh, recommendations, the views of the committee, and uh, this will include a public apology to what happened to the comfort women, reparations. Reparations is restoration of um, st uh, status quo ante, which means that the women should be provided psychosocial support and compensation for um, the, the wrong done to them. No? Um, time is running out for the victims because many of them um, have died. And I would like to appreciate to also mention that this was uh, a case uh, initiated by uh, a group of law students uh, who were then studying under me, um, taking up international humanitarian law. I hope uh, other law students will uh, um, also um, follow the footsteps of these uh, students. The students are now led by... Uh, the students uh, were then led by uh, Professor Dayan Desierto of uh, Purdue University now. No? Um, uh, we're hoping that the uh, government uh, will take immediate action and that uh, before the uh, comfort women die, that uh, their rights be recognized and that they be compensated for their suffering. Um, the case was... Um, huh? The case was... Uh, one, the case was initiated by law students. It was shepherded by the Center of International Law, which I founded. No? Um, and, uh, of course, the case was also um, utilized by the uh, South Korean comfort women in their own quest for justice.